Hi friends, today you didn't get any car little preview, but there was an estate sale today. It was a large one put on by Carolina Let's Go. And I would say it was pretty good. It was at least as good as last week's. Um, and Big Hair Sheila was there, big and better as ever. So along with Wayne, and there's a lady there that comes often and she really annoys me and I felt like she really needed a nickname that suited her and I finally figured it out today that she reminds me of Umbridge if you're a Harry Potter fan because she kind of has that nice exterior but not really a nice interior if you know what I mean. So she was there and um, a couple other friends, saw a couple of familiar faces. Don't always know everybody's name and not everybody has a nickname because just the way it works but it was good to see all the people. It was nice weather. It was a big house. It was multi-level plus a basement. So a lot of stuff. So on that note, let's get into the haul. So my favorite big find, or one of them, was this. Look at this big picture. I know exactly where it's going. It's going in the guest room to get rid of a picture I don't like. So and it looks like this is old from TJ Maxx because it still has the original sticker on it. So it may not be an antique, but I don't care. I like it. Then we have this, thought this was an interesting, I'm going to say pewter or silver plate. doesn't have any marks on it and look at the little feet, look like little balls of yarn. So this is going to go in my shop, I just thought it would be fun in a bathroom to put things or maybe you could, I mean, use it as on a dresser to put jewelry. Um, yeah, I just thought it was kind of fun. So that's going in the shop. Then I bought myself this bracelet. I usually don't look at the jewelry. I have one friend that she likes to look at the jewelry quite often. Usually that's what she goes for. But this time I actually did stop and look and it was kind of intrigued. So that's why I picked it up. Then they also had gloves, which I thought, get rid of the masking tape there. But they also had these gloves. I like the detail with the little buttons. So those are gonna go in my shop. If anyone likes to have little gloves that they can set out or even wear, I mean, they certainly could. And then on the note of gloves, I also got a pair of long ones. Look at that. Probably go up to the elbow or over it even. So I'm going to put those in my shop if anybody would like some nice long gloves. Just thought they were kind of fun and they, they have a different texture to them. I also got another Bible. I couldn't find a date, so, and I don't think it's a red, nope, it's not a red letter Bible, so, and it didn't have any markings in it, so I'm not sure how old it is, other than it's just a King James. Then I found this fun, look at this recipe book. I love these old spirals. It looks like Logan's Chapel, United Faith Methodist, 1985, Helen, to Helen from Lucille, so isn't that fun? Love these old church spiral books. Then we got, let's see, you know I had to find spoons. So this one's marked on the back. W. M. Rogers M. Manufacturing Company Extra Plate Original Rogers. So there's the nice beautiful detailing. I'm not sure what the little ladles are for. Anybody have an idea? Is this like for candies? nuts. What would the little tiny ladles be for? And then another souvenir spoon on the back. It's too small. My eyes are too old. But it does say 1976 USA, 19, 1776, so it has the Liberty Bell on it. thought that was kind of fun. Then we have this one. That, it honestly looks pretty new, but I just like the detail of the rose on it. Still pretty shiny. I personally like them with a little bit more age on them. And then this one looks like a couple of people like maybe in a dance figure but it just has so much detailing and I like the little round bowl at the bottom with the scallops. I just thought it was really pretty and kind of fun. Then I bought a swan and it's marked, wow, Owens Florist, Fayetteville, North Carolina on the bottom. Isn't that kind of cool? But look at all the detailing and I don't know if you want to put a little plant in it or a little jewelry. Maybe you could even put a tea light for a little candle. So I think that's going to go in my shop. 
And then this one I'm keeping for myself because he's just so different and unique. I'm assuming there used to be maybe a little spoon and it was like a little cellar, like a salt and pepper cellar. But look at how pretty it is. And this, it, let's see, it says made in China and it's Lori. I don't know can, if you can read the on the bottom, but I don't know if you've ever seen the children's show Nestor the Long-Eared Donkey. It's kind of what it reminds me of is Nestor. So that's why I picked that one up. Then we have this, and it doesn't appear to have any markings, but I just, I love the Christmas tree. So that one's mine. And then this is also for myself, but a little house. Look at the detailing. I'm probably going to put it with all my other little houses and not use it as an ornament. But this one's going in my shop and it's marked 2001. But look at this amazing Noah's Ark. I just love all the detail in 3D. It's so cool. You can even see, maybe you can see right here is Noah. Got some birds and camels and hippos and elephants. Isn't that just awesome? It's so pretty. And I got myself some little frames for my gallery wall and a couple more frames. I love finding the old frames there because number one, they're affordable. And number two, they're just more unique. And I got some bunnies. And those are from my shop. There's no mark on the bottom, but it looks like they're ceramic maybe. So if you like bunnies. And speaking of bunnies, I also got this little butter knife. And that's going to go in my shop, and it's marked Nobler Stainless Steel Japan on it. So, cute little bunny. And then I've got this. I thought it was just kind of fun. I think it's that enamelware. And I'm going to put this in my shop, so that will be there if you're someone who kind of likes that kind of stuff. And then this is also for my shop, but look at this little brass. And he lifts up. You can put trinkets in it little brass turtle. He's so cute. I do like all the little stuff. Then I also found this brass and it's marked on a copyright 1950. It looks like almost like V6M or something if you can see that on the back. But it's really heavy brass leaf. So it'd be neat to put like your jewelry or maybe a candle something in. So I'm going to put that in my shop. Then this, I'm probably going to keep, because my grandma used to have it, and I always loved it. Halls Superior, Mary Dunbar, Jewel Homemakers Institute, and it's the, I believe it's Autumn Leaf, so Autumn Leaf Sugar Bowl. My grandma used to have a bunch of it. And when I was a kid, I remembered it, but it didn't mean anything to me, but now as an adult, I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> then this is going in my shop. Look at this. It looks like a trophy. And it is marked on the bottom, Lunt, L-U-N-T, L -U -N -T, A-101. And I don't know if it's real silver. It's just tarnished. And I don't know, is this like a sugar bowl, candy bowl? Anybody have any ideas? But it's going in my shop. I thought it's kind of fun. Then I got my husband a, another camera. I'm not sure if he has this one. I mean, he has some similar. I just don't know if he has this one in particular. So thought he could add it to his collection. And the last thing I wanted, if any of you watch my previous videos, and I can link that in the description, there was one I went to, and Wayne, Big Hair Sheila's husband, got this cat I was looking for. And I'm not saying I for sure wanted the cat, because I might have just bought it and put it in my shop, or I might not have even bought it at all because the price might not have been right. But it was one thing I was definitely looking for when I went in, and I saw him carrying around, and he was blue and white cat, and I was like, no, that's my cat. Why do you have my cat? So when I looked through the pictures this time, there was a pink and white cat, and I'm like, I am getting that cat. So a couple of my friends there were with me, and we were all on the hunt, but I was able to go right into the right room and find the cat, and there it is. <laughs> There is the cat, and it was the right price I wanted to afford, so this time I got the cat. So there's my haul, and 
Stay tuned, there may be some decorating. We'll show you where some of this stuff goes, goes to live. And what's not mine is going in the shop, so I would say probably by the time you see this video, check out my shop and see if it's there. If it's not already sold, you could have some of this fun stuff too. So thanks for joining me and bye for right now. <laughs> There we go, adding the new spoons to some of my other spoons. You know me and my spoons. Love them. We'll put some of the others over here. Spread the love, because I have two spoon trays. So to make accommodations for all of my collection. And here we added the swan to my growing swan collection. I have a whole flock. I think I might need to stop. Either that or find another place to put them. But I just think they're all so beautiful in their own way. So, can't say why I like them. That's just what a collection is. You're just drawn to it for whatever reason. Well, hello, Mexi May May. What are you doing? Meh. Meh. Got nothing to say. Your brother's over there napping. Well, I thought my most special cat I had to have should be here in the library. So I have that duck I got at an estate sale a while back. And all the candles and candle holders came from Amazon. I think the clock did too. The picture came from Hobby Lobby. But there's the kitty. I feel like he should have a name. Or she. Maybe it's a she. I don't know, what are your thoughts? What would you name the cat? And would it be a boy or a girl? What do you think? And the last thing I wanted to show you that I hung on the wall was my new rose picture. Oh, or maybe it's Magnolia, or maybe it's Daylily. I'm not sure what kind of flower it is, but I absolutely love it. Oh, and there's the itty bitty frames too that I also got. They're not real pictures, they're just artwork. Cause I don't think I have any real, well, I guess I do have the Disney photo and the picture of the building, but most of it, it's all artistic. So I just kind of like it that way. But yep, yeah, there's this gallery wall taken off like a house of fire. So thank you for joining me, friends. Thanks for visiting. And I really do appreciate your comments and subscription. And the fact that you just connect with me and watch my videos and you're my friend. <laughs>